I love basmati rice. Mango sticky rice is like the best dessert ever. I love chong. He is wrapped in some banana dips. We eat rice every day. I love fried rice. I like boiled rice. Yeah, like a sushi. Uh, my favorite the rice dish is nasi lemak and it's basically uh, cooked with uh, coconut milk. I can't, I can't survive without rice. Have you heard about the threat to rice? Um, yeah. No. Like pesticides, fertilizers and other chemicals, some farmers use in farming. It gets into the rice we eat. It's dangerous to our health. And the farmers' health too. It's not good for the environment, the air, water, soil, insects and animals in the field. And now genetically engineering rice is being made. TE rice will contaminate local rice varieties. Hundreds of thousands of native local rice varieties have been lost already. With GE rice, even more will be lost. They will also need to buy seeds every growing season. It's not the answer to the farmers' problems. It's the answer to the agribusiness corporation's need for more business. And there's the World Trade Organization and its liberalization policy. The WTO's agricultural policies have destroyed domestic rice markets and small rice farmers in Asia. What about the International Rice Research Institute? They've been around 50 years. What have they done? It seems it, it's been helping agrochemical companies get richer. What are our governments doing anyway? Not taking care of our food security and rice farmers. Remember the 2008 rice crisis? It's a bad, bad situation. What's going on? Seems like WTO, the International Rice Research Institute, agrochemical companies, and the government have left the people down. We are losing our life heritage. I'm not going to sit around and let this thing happen. Let's get involved. Let's find out more. It's Year of the Rice Action, or YORA. From April 2009 to April 2010, in 14 countries across Asia. What you know and what you do matters. Check out the YORA website to get into the action in your country. Let's save our rice.